everyone. This video is going to be part of our Ride Around or Horse and Cart series, and we're going to bring Shane into the frame to demonstrate how we would dance it in modern jive. All right. So we'll just do a basic uh, traveling return, ladies under, connect up two hands, step in for a uh, Manhattan, step away with a flick spin, pick up on the uh, left side of the girl's body, and then rotate around. You'll need to keep that energy. And then I will rock the girl back and then free spin off. Step back into the track to connect up again. So in previous horse and cart or ride around videos, we have had the foot in front or in coupe or in passe, and we have really been quite a bit outside our partner with both of us looking past our partner. Whereas this one, the gentleman might be looking past us, but the follows are gonna be in a more of a perfect perpendicular position. So she's going to be facing him more so he's going to be facing the direction he's running. That way, like an ice cream cone, our body weight can offset one another in a way where she still feels comfortable putting the leg behind her. We can do lots of different legs, but right now we'll extend the leg. So, so let's talk about the connection for a minute. So if you hop into your position where you would be, because I'm going forward, and we've got to have a little bit of a way. So Kerry's really filling the space here and connecting that upper body to the hand and then she has her right hand on my sort of rib area. There's not a lot of pressure there but it's there and then I feel like I'm away while I'm running. I like to have my hand out because that reminds me to stay away so that we're more like this even though it may not look like it's that much so that we can rotate around and then I keep the speed up to allow Kerry to be able to hold that position, but we are slightly away. So you want to practice that, getting on that one leg, getting into position, the girl setting, I'm now out, and now I can rotate around and keep that energy going. And you'll have to practice a little bit to find that. Um, counterbalance. Thank you, counterbalance. <laughs> and then, you know guys, sometimes you have to move away, so you don't want to like move away. You want to move away, move away, get that body set. Do I need to set more on this side of the body to get it away? So more rotational, less rotational, more parallel versus more perpendicular. Yeah. In our previous videos that we've asked you to practice double-handed and stepping and sitting away from one another for that yeah. counterbalance. And this, this get bring around the rosy tie yeah. is... Then practice it here. Right, so what's going to help you bridge into this. So the position for the frame, is going to be that's what's set away on the, the leader's right, the lady's left, and then the right hand side, just so that we don't start collapsing or or over rotating away, that's where I have the hand against his side, just to monitor where I am. Could be hip, could be rib, it just kind of depends on your height difference. Yeah, then getting in, the reason I do it for modern jive off a um, forward break is I can release the hand by coming forward and going release, then flick spin off, maintain that connection by going from hip tracing through the back, bring Kerry forward and get going. So I've got energy, so Kerry can take her time. I want to show that again. So we did our break, we flick spin, I'm moving and she's taking her time. Oh, I go, she's connected. And away we go. Because that's the way he gives the suggestion that we do this type of move. Yes, I could drop speed. into it and ask him to run, but he can also start to run and encourage me to drop into it. So if we just do it from the rock step here with the double hands, over rotation, roll in, he runs, I go, oh, look at that, I can drop and sit right into it. Noticing, girls, when I'm really dropping into that knee, I'm not trying to stand a straight leg at all. The other one that I did say that we could go ahead and style would be rather than the long or arabesque leg behind, we can be doing the attitude leg behind. Of course, you can pull it into the coupe and passe, but we've gone over that in another video. Yeah, so keep enjoying the movements. If you have any questions, don't be scared to send us an email, drop us a little note. And while ever we're doing these uh, Wednesday nights, if you've got questions, great time to ask it because we want to do a lot more uh, showing and doing an interaction on the uh, Facebook live stream.